What's going on all you samurais out there? That's Samurai right, back again with another video and today I'm going to show you a few easy steps you could do to stream to Facebook gaming using OBS as well as what my scene setup looks like for my OBS. This video comes at a request from a new Samurai who just joined. Welcome to the Samurai Army. If you find anything in this video helpful, I want you to Samurai slice that like button guys and subscribe. Join the Samurai Army. Before we jump into my OBS setup, I wanted to go ahead and tell you guys that I am streaming from a PS4 using an Elgato HD60S. Uh, you will need this guide in order to stream to Facebook, your Facebook page. Uh, using a PS4 so just letting you know if you don't already have this you might want to go ahead and pick it up without further ado Let's do it. All right guys. Here. We are in OBS studios. This is my Personal setup here as you can see I have scenes down here already built for my streams and stuff like that But I want to show you guys how to set up a perfect very simple stream that you could start using right away to set up your ps4 in there you could get a, a mic set up and you can get your camera set up and have audio coming in i'm gonna show you guys how to do that now you can get obs but easily it's, it's a free download on google once you get obs downloaded here you're going to open it up and you're going to see this blank screen now come down to the left corner here and you'll see scenes this is step one you want to go ahead and hit this plus sign here and that's how you add a new scene you're going to name it whatever you want to name it make sure you name it something that you know fits your you know your organization skills down here you can see the new scene get added down here so from here you want to go over to your sources and this is how you're going to add new um sources to the scene now sources are basically the components that make up your entire scene like your camera a website um your screen stuff like that right so what we're going to do first so if you're going to be streaming with a mic you want to go ahead and add a mic input capture in order to capture your mic that you're using. Now, I have a few different mics set up here, but whatever the name of your mic is, you wanna go ahead and add that in here. So I'm gonna add here just mic test because I already have a few existing mics. I don't wanna mix up anything, but we're gonna just create that name for it. And then you'll see this property window open up here. And the de the default right here is your built-in. So I'm doing this on a uh, MacBook and it has a built-in microphone. Basically that's the default, but we don't want that. We want to add our actual USB mic that we have plugged in right now. And that's my ATR. It's a um, Audio-Technica mic that I have plugged in. We're gonna add that. And then you're gonna hit okay. And then you'll see it pop up here. Mic test, this is the mic that we just set up in the scene. Um, and you'll see that as I'm talking here, you can see that there is a audio bar and we're capturing audio, which is awesome, right? So once you have your audio set up, you know, you can use the slider to get the volume down up however you want it to match your gameplay. All right, so the next thing we're gonna try to set up here in sources, hit this plus button. We wanna get OBS to capture the game that we're playing. So. In order to do that, there's a few steps that you have to do in order to do this on Mac. If you're using OBS on a Mac to stream, there's a few things you have to download first from Elgato's website in order to make it work. So you want to come over here to Elgato's website like so and go over to, wow, you can't really see it because of that light right there. You want to go to downloads. And once you click on that, you'll see all of these cool downloads for Mac because it just doesn't work with Mac as much as it works with PC. They have a lot of different downloads here, but what you want to scroll down to is OBS Link. This is what you want to download in order to get OBS um, to recognize that and the Elgato capture card is actually uh, being used as a source for your game. I'm not going to download it because I already have it, but once you already have it downloaded, you're going to see it pop up here on your little bar on the top. All you have to do is click that and you'll see some options here. First, you want to go to preferences. I want to make sure that everything looks good here and that it's actually detecting your capture card here. So my capture card is this, it's already in there. After that, you want to download the NDI plugin for OBS, which is already downloaded on mine, but I'm going to show you how you can find it. It's super easy to find. All you have to do is go to support here on Elgato's website, type in NDI in the search. So once you search NDI in the search bar up here, you're gonna get a few results. You wanna go down to OBS link setup. And this page is gonna give you step-by-step -step directions on how to set up OBS link with the NDI plugin and have it show up in uh, your OBS uh, software. It also gives you the link to the website where you can download the NDI plugin and 
you know, once you do that, then you should see this little check green check mark pop up in your preferences here that says, you know, OBS NDI plugin is on and working. If this is a little confusing for you guys, don't worry, I can do another video showing you how to set up the just the NDI plugin and the OBS link for Mac. But this web page here does a really good job at showing you how to get it set up. You want to come down to this NDI source and click that. Once you click that, it will ask you to create a new one like we just did and you name it uh, Elgato. Let's do that. And you get this window to pop up here. Now, it's super simple. Um, you don't have to do anything else with anything but the source name. What you want to do is just click that, whatever the source name is, make sure that that's clicked, press OK, and then that is set up, and it will automatically connect to your OBS link. All right, so now that we have the capture card here down in the scenes, everything is good to go. All we have to do is go back up here to this bar and enable the HD60S capture. and we're waiting here. Yep, there it is. It popped up. That is our PS4. There you go. You may be wondering at this point, how do I capture my audio from the game? Because currently, as you can see, the audio is not being captured. You want to go ahead and switch this to HDMI. Once you switch the audio input to HDMI, you'll see that it'll start searching for the signal and it'll come back here. And now you have audio for your game. Now, if you want to be able to hear the game at the same time that you're playing, OBS here isn't like the Elgato capture software. So it's not gonna be in real time. As you can see, I'm clicking through and it's, for me, it's, at about, it's about like a second, two second delay. So in order to have the game running in real time, if you don't have a um, headphone jack on your monitor or anything like that, you're going to have to use the uh, analog line in in order to hear the audio in real time. So I'm going to show you how to do that. We're going to come up here to the preferences and you see the audio input here. You're going to switch that to analog line in. Once you do that, this is my personal setup, by the way. Once you do that, the audio will go away here and you won't hear anything coming out of your monitor. Having the audio input being analog line in will allow Elgato to pick up the sound coming from the controller. So you'll just have to plug in your controller into the Elgato capture card. And once you do that, you'll have sound. And then you'll have a splitter, some type of splitter, and then you'll be able to put your headphones into that splitter and you'll hear all the audio as well as having the Elgato capturing the audio from your game. So now that we have the mic and the audio from the game coming in nice and crispy, guys, the next thing you want to set up is your webcam. That is a very simple step to do, guys. All you have to do is come back to your sources, hit the plus button, and go to video capture device. And we're gonna call this a uh, camera test because I already have stuff set up. Don't judge me on how to spell test. And you hit OK, and it will get this property window pop up. Now, there's certain cameras here you want to use. Um, any type of webcam that you have, you can use, like your FaceTime Web HD camera. It's here. I'm using a cam link with my DSLR, so I'll click that. And hey, guys, you can see me here. The light has died on me a little bit. But you want to hit OK, and there you go. You have your camera. You can just kind of put that in the corner here or anywhere on the screen. And that is how you would set that up. So that is your basic setup, guys, to start streaming um, to Facebook. That's how you set up the scenes. Super easy. You got your camera, you got your mic, and you got the game with the audio coming through. The only thing left to do is to set up your stream settings to start streaming to Facebook. So let's do that. So last step here is to get OBS to stream to Facebook. And that's really simple, but there is a little bit of confusion you might have run into. You come here, you hit settings, you go down to stream, and then you'll see in services, you see Facebook live here is already set up here. But this is just like Elgato software. This is streaming straight to your personal Facebook page. You don't want to do that. What you want to do is go to custom. Once you go to custom, you'll see your server, uh, the server option pop up here. And that's going to be that URL that you want to put into from your uh, Facebook gaming page. You want to put that URL in there. And once you do that, you'll put in your stream key. And once you do that, you're fine. You hit apply on the way out and 
and you should be streaming to Facebook Gaming from there. I can do another video on how to get all of this stuff set up, like transitions, which my computer is being bogged down <laughs> at the moment. Um, but I can show you guys how to get these transitions, how to get these overlays like this. Um, but once you get all of that, this is like pro level right here. This is like taking it to the next step. If you guys are interested in seeing how to set up different scenes and make them look all cool and pro and stuff like that, I can do another video on how to do that. But for the most part, this is how you can start streaming with OBS, how to set up scenes and get your camera, your Elgato and your mic coming in all on the MacBook. If you got any value at all in this video, go ahead and hit that like button and subscribe. Join Samurai Army. If you're interested in seeing my live streams, I stream on Facebook Monday and Wednesday at 10 p.m., sometimes on Fridays at 10 p.m. as well. Link is in the description. Go ahead and give it a follow. And if you're interested, I have some other videos on the channel. They're right here on the right side of the camera here. Check those out. They're cool.